And so I reached out to come here and see if chiropractic care was gonna help me kind of get my periods back so that I could get pregnant. Hey guys, Dr. Matt here from LifeSpring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas. We're here today with Shaylise, and Shaylise has a really cool story. She came in for something a little bit different than the standard, and I'll let her go ahead and explain. So what initially brought you in? It was about five, six, I guess it's been more than that, I guess now. Yeah. And months ago. Yeah, <laughs> well, longer than nine months, because I yeah. <laughs> was diagnosed with pregnant. Um, so, what initially brought me in was actually a friend who had referred me to um, kind of check out Dr. Matt because he was helping her a little bit with her polycystic ovarian syndrome symptoms. Um, she also kind of had the same um, symptoms I was having where I like lost my periods, um, they were just really irregular um, and I wasn't ovulating and so I reached out to come here and see if chiropractic care was gonna help me kind of get my periods back so that I could get pregnant. Um, we had been trying for a year and a half to get pregnant and wasn't successful. Um, so that's what brought me in. And how many weeks now are you pregnant? Um, 36 weeks pregnant. <laughs> From trying over a year to get pregnant, uh, almost we're Push into the very end yeah. here. So it's been an amazing journey to witness and to see and pan even on this back wall, there's a sign up here. It's no reflection of me, but the human body, it says above us, at least you've probably seen it, yeah. expect miracles. And it's really amazing. We see many cases like this. Um, not everyone wants to be on video or to share them. So thank you for yeah. sharing yes. this with the world. And we're gonna show the process of an adjustment today also. So I will have you stand please yes. and we'll drop these down and probably wonder, or many people watching if this is like, oh, that's probably awful to lie, <laughs> to lie down or to, to get adjusted. So I'll ask you a couple questions as we go through this to make sure it's yeah. comfortable and good, but go ahead and try that. So I'll have you lie face down please. And for people at home watching that may not be familiar with how something like an adjustment to the spine would even be related to the reproductive system or to the organs. It's the nerves from here that we're right about to adjust. Say, so at least I'm pointing to the nerves from here coming from your sacrum. They go to things like the large intestine, the bladder, the reproductive organs, but really the nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord works as a whole. So when it's working correctly and optimally, so are the things that the nerves go to. So this is a very common thing that we see. We don't treat PCOS, but, or we don't treat infertility, but so many times we see this desired effect or outcome by way of creating a healthy spine, which is helping to create a healthy human. So let's check it out. Let's see what we find. So I use the Webster technique. I'm feeling for motion here first. I'm feeling that right side. Have you had any symptoms lately, Shaylee, since I've seen you last? Just a lower back pain, I think, as she gets bigger. Okay. Yeah, and the third trimester, as Shaylee's could probably tell us, is seems to be more uncomfortable with the amount of growth mm -hmm. seen. <laughs> so I'm feeling for which leg feels more stuck. And that right one is more stuck. Is it tender at all with either of these when I bring them up for sense them? Uh, I feel that actually when you bring my left leg up a little bit up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and it's pretty close on those two. So that tells me which side is the, we call posterior sacrum side. So which side is the misalignment in lay terms? <laughs> and then you're gonna feel your hips pop up and then they're gonna drop down on their own. There we go.
and it's very, very light. How does that feel to you, pressure-wise? Is that pretty, pretty easy on your yeah, body? Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, it doesn't feel. It's just a loud noise, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know we get more chiropractors watching these or medical professionals, so I'm down on the, my contact point for that. It's like the third sacral tubercle and then just lateral to that. And Shaylise is actually a nurse, so she probably, she knows our lingo, even though we don't <laughs> talk like that in here. <laughs> so now when we come up, do you? I don't feel any, yeah, <laughs> feels so good. Good, so no more discomfort. Yeah. On that good. And then with that too, especially as we see more growth there, there's a couple other things we'll do to make sure the pelvis is completely balanced, which is important because we mentioned the neurologic component already. Things like the uterus are controlled neurologically through the sacral plexus right here where we're making adjustments to. But then we want to create optimal space because then it's more comfortable for you mm -hmm. and helps to create a smooth passage or birth also. So now I'm making my way to the apex of the sacrum, which is the bottom of it. And we're going to be on the sacrotuberous ligament. So here's the apex of the sacrum. And then I'm going to be on your sit bone, Shaylise, on that left side. And then split the difference halfway in between and right there is where the sacrotuberous ligament is. And it's really tight on that left side and that's probably where a lot of her tension was even coming from. Just a few big breaths. And I'm contacting this very lightly. It's almost like a rubber band. I'm putting my pressure upward just to try to release that pressure that's on that or that tension that's on that ligament and after a second I can feel it start to pulse and that's what I'm feeling for there it goes good and to you Shaylee's <laughs> How would you describe that? I know it's an odd spot for a <laughs> contact, but is it is it painful? Is it uncomfortable? Is it no? It, it's, easy? it's super light touch. It barely, yeah, okay. very easy to just. Okay, good. And then feeling there, that should feel even smoother. And that yeah. left one yeah, goes even farther. So that's where most of the tension she was feeling on that left side was actually because of that. And I went to that left side for people at home watching that may wonder how this works. It's just knowing the biomechanics of the spine. So when we have a posterior sacrum and we're referring to the base that's gone posterior on the right side relative to it, we call the other side AI, anterior, inferior. And that's referring to that other side that's dropped down and in on that AI sacrum side is where you're going to find the tighter sacred tuberous ligament. So that's how I knew to even go to that left side. And Jay Lee, all along, you probably had no thought to even care for that, but now you get to hear why. <laughs> and then feeling through the rest of the spine right between the shoulder blades there. So the body's amazing, obviously, to be able to make changes to house a human within us. One of the changes we see is an increased curve in the low back. And then also in the upper back. You doing okay? Yeah, I just take hold. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that increased curve in the upper back. And she says, yeah, as soon as I touch on it. And tenderness, Shirley. Yeah, very yeah. tender. So that's where we'll tend to see that as the low back arches more the upper back comes forward and that spot for her is is right there so let's have you go ahead and push yourself up please take your time and then i'm gonna bring you 
knees. And then let's have you line your back face up, please. And then we'll cross the arms just like this. And breath in and let it all go. Good. Good. And it moves so easy. <laughs> And the pressure is so different. If people watching are wondering, the pressure is a lot different, right? When you weren't pregnant, it would yeah. take a lot more force. Mm -hmm. Now, before so, I even push, you can hear it starting to move. Yeah. yeah. And that's because of the relax in it causes the ligaments to become more lax, which is a good thing. You need it to be able to have this change or growth take place. Neck also, that right side. There, mm, yeah. that's the good stuff. Perfect, and then <laughs> we've been adjusting your yeah. feet also. Let's go ahead and yes. take a look. And how would you describe for people even maybe who haven't had their feet adjusted or if they're pregnant and they're watching this they're probably yeah. like, oh gosh, I also, I feel the, the swelling in my ankles and my feet. Has this helped at all with, with some of that? Oh yeah, I have barely had any swelling and it, I feel like it's the most amazing, it's my favorite part of being adjusted awesome. is my feet. Cool, I love it. Um, and for this, I'll actually, let's have you take your socks up. Okay. I'm gonna use the activator, sometimes that'll slip with the sock. Okay. And then go ahead and line mm -hmm. back. Please, I'm going to lift this headpiece yeah. for you to help prop your head up. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to feel for motion here. And it's different also when adjusting feet with someone who's pregnant because with some of the maneuvers, you got to be careful not to traction the hip. And for this, I'm not going to pull your whole leg down if i am it's got to be really focused here without bringing your whole leg on yeah. so this first one it's going to be a short quick there same here good there so my depth is different than where it would be and then for s some of the other ones i'm going to use the spring-loaded instrument And then the outside of the foot also. Yeah, mm -hmm. What does it feel like too? Just tender. Yeah. Get there. That was the heel. <laughs> that moved easy. Same thing on the middle of the foot there. And then you got one on the arch, and that's why this one likes to slip if it's on a sock. So, people on YouTube may have a preference for what technique we use. We change it based off what the patient needs. So with Shaylee's in the beginning, I was doing all of this by hand, right? And it was more force and yeah. probably felt good, but now it's a good thing. We've got other tools in the toolbox. There. All right, and that's the last one. Let's have you take a few steps, please. We'll see how that feels, how different it feels. Yeah, it feels a lot better. <laughs> when we're grounded. I love it. And then for Last parting words for anyone watching this that's maybe going through a pregnancy right now or their wife is going through a pregnancy and they've never tried or considered chiropractic, what would you say to them? Do it. It feels amazing. It, I feel like it, may, it will make a pregnancy a lot easier and it just, there's a lot of change happening in the body and so this is just, it just helps a lot symptom wise. Perfect. I love it. Well, thank you for watching.